Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to flash the Android version 4.2.2 Jelly Bean leaked firmware on your Galaxy S3 GDI9300. So, after installing this firmware on your phone, uh, you'll have some features of the Galaxy S4 on your phone. So, to install this firmware on your phone, just download the firmware from the link below in the description box. Just just download the firmware and you also need the PC Audio in version 3.04 on your computer. So first just open Odin and then we need to boot our Galaxy S3 into download mode. So just press the volume down, home and power button at the same time. Keep it holding. And now my phone has rebooted into download mode. So just press volume up to continue. So after your phone has rebooted into download mode, plug in your phone. After you have connected your Galaxy S3 in download mode in your computer, then you should see a then you should see a blue bar displayed here. And now just navigate to PDA. So just navigate to wherever you have stored the firmware that you have downloaded so here I have it just click it and hit open so after you have selected the file make sure the repartition here is not checked and then hit start so it will start flashing the firmware on your phone so the firmware has successfully installed on my phone and it's rebooting now it may take a while for the first boot so now my phone has rebooted and I have the Android version 4.2.2 installed on my phone so you can just see the layout is very much similar to the Galaxy S4 and I have the Android version 4.2.2 installed on my phone. There you can just see. So that's all on how you can install this firmware on your phone. So if you face any problem after you have installed this firmware on your phone, just press volume up power and home button at the same time to reboot into recovery mode so after you have rebooted into recovery mode just navigate to a wipe data factory reset and then hit yes delete all user data and then go to wipe cache partition and then hit ok so after you have done these two steps just go ahead and reboot system now and the problem you are facing should be solved so that's all on how you can install this custom firmware on your phone so after installing this on your phone you will have some features of Galaxy S4 on your phone like you have the Android version 4.2.2 the quick toggles and a lot more so that's all uh, if you have any queries just comment below or hit me on facebook and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching have a nice day